Welcome to Homa Studio for a quick video on downloading high-res images from Google Photos. And not just dealing with Google Photos, but also dealing with these HEIC files from iPhones, these high-efficiency files that you can't easily open up in basic programs. So I'm going to go over some of that, so this won't be kind of how-to in Photopea, but just dealing with some technical issues. So one thing I just want to point out is when we go to Photopea, typically when you go to New Project, it will use 1280 by 720 as a default. And then if you paste anything in there, it'll get pasted into that window size. For example, if I just went create and I went over to my Google Photos and I found this nice photo that I took and I clicked on it and I'm looking at the big image and I copy image. I'm gonna copy image by right clicking and I'll go here. Now if I paste, it'll get cropped in this area. So I'm just gonna paste it by using Control V or Command V and there it is. And then if I zoom out, and I put on my transform controls, then I could resize it and fit it nicely in there. I could just hold the bottom right corner and drag in a 45 degree angle and it'll keep it in proportion. Now it's being cropped right now based on that. Now that's one way to do it. And remember, if you hit enter, it'll okay that transformation, that scaling that I was doing, and you could turn that off and there it is as layer one. Now that's one option. I'm gonna close this up. Another thing to deal with is if you go to Google Photos again, now here's my large size image, and if I copy image, so I'm gonna right click and copy image, and if I go back to Photopea and I use new project, it's saying 982 by 1486. Now if I put in 1982 by 1486, that's about three megapixels. Now that seems like a lot, but it's not very big. It's not even big enough to put on Shutterfly as far as the minimum size. So that's not a very big image. It's big for certain things you may use if you're putting them on Facebook and things like that. But if you're looking for your original high res, that's not it. So basically Google Photos is kind of storing a lower res version here. To get the high res version, what you have to do is actually download it. And you can't just use save image as. You might think that's downloading it. If I do that, I'll save this to my desktop, and there it is. And if I go to Photopea, and I'll cancel out of this new image, and I'll just try to open it. So I'll go to open, and I could have also went to open from computer. I think I put it on my desktop, there it is. And you can see it's still that 1982 by 1486. So if I go here, and I go to image size, it's still not the high res image, even though it looked like I downloaded it. So let's try something else. And let me go back to my Google Photos. And there's another way to download by going over here to the options. And I can go to download. And there it goes. Now it downloaded in the HEIC format. And that's an Apple format that helps compress the data. Now the only problem is it's hard to open. A lot of programs won't open it. Photopea will not open it up. If you went here and tried to open that up, I'll close up this again, and you went File, Open, and you went to your Downloads, because I think that one went to my Downloads. There it is. And you went to Open, you'll get a message like that. And that'll happen in Photoshop too, unless it doesn't happen in a newer version of Photoshop, but the version I have, it won't open it either. And I have an article here about HEIC, how to convert and all that. I'm gonna put a link in the comments. And I also have another article about opening in Windows. Since I don't work on Windows a lot, I have a little thing here about opening Windows because there's a way you should be able to do it free. It shouldn't be that hard. So I'll put both of these links in the comments. So if you work on Windows, you could do that. But also what I'll show you, if you work on a Mac or if you don't have to deal with HEIC, you know, that's probably easier. But if I now have that version, this ATIC, if I double click on it on a Mac, it'll open up in preview. Now preview will open PDFs, it'll open images. But now there's a couple things you can do. You can go to file, export, and if you choose JPEG, and I'll save it to my desktop, and I'll replace the one I had, now, if I go to Photopea, let me move this over here. I'll go to Photopea and I'll open from computer and I'll go to my desktop and there it is. Now I can see it's 4032 by 3024. That's about 12 megapixels. So that's my high res image. So if I open that up, I now have the high res image. 
If I go to image size just to check, image, image size, I could see that's the high res image. If you multiply that, you'll get like 12 million pixels. So that's one way to do it. Another way that's even quicker that I like to do, I'll close this up. I like to use this method. When I open it up in preview, here it is. I like to do control A or command A. I guess command A would be best if you're on a Mac. And it puts a selection around everything, around all your pixels. And then you could just copy, I'll do command C. And then I'll go to Photopea. I'll make a new project. And look, now it's actually making my canvas 12 megapixels, 4,000 by 3,000 if I do create. Now I still have to paste, so I'm going to do Command V or Control V on Photopea. I could paste my image, and now I have my high-res image. So I'll go to Image Size just to double check, and there's my high-res image. So I just wanted to show that just because sometimes it can be confusing. And if you go here and you see this image and you paste it somewhere into Photoshop or Photopea, you may think, you don't have the high-res image anymore. You might think, wow, I saved all my images from my phone. It went into Google Photos, which is free. People do that because it's free. I do because iCloud is, is expensive if you have to start loading a lot of images in there. Although I don't know how long Google Photos will be free either, but for now it is. And all you have to do is make sure you go over here and download it. And if it's in HEIC format, you just have to make sure you copy it from Preview into Photo P or you can convert it ahead of time. And if you work on Windows, just check these things out. I think there's an extension that you could use to do that uh, with Microsoft Photos. And there's also a, this, it says video extension, but it also works for HEIC Photos. So if you work on Windows, check that out. I'll put those links in there, but I just wanted to show that. Uh, that's something that I'm concerned with too, because I want my high-res images in there, because I'm going to be uploading these to Shutterfly, because I have some really nice photos. As you can see here, some really cool things that I've been taking at night. Uh, in the sunset, so I want to get some of those up there, and I want to make sure I have the high-res images because Shutterfly requires four megapixels as a minimum, so I don't want to be putting low-res pictures up there, or I don't want to be like resampling them and making them have more pixels, even though I'm not having the same amount of quality. So I just wanted to point that out. That's working in Photopea. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments or anything that you want to share, anything you want to ask, but that's just dealing with high-res images from Google Photos. So you can get them. Just make sure that when you click on here, you go to download. And if they're in JPEG anyway, you don't have any problem. And if they're in HEIC, you just have to convert them and there's ways to do that. So just wanted to point that out. Thanks for watching.